So I placed an order on August 18th for a doji mix from LightInTheBox.com. It finally showed up today from Hong Kong, and while I'm not exactly impressed with the shipper, I am pretty happy with the doji mix itself. In this video, I'm going to be going over my first impressions on this almost bezel-less phone for a price of around 200 US dollars. Now the phone I got my hands on was the Aurora Blue 6GB version, so the higher end version. It came with 64GB of storage, which in 2017 isn't a whole lot, but I think it can do the job. To start off, this phone came with a lot of stuff. It came with a basic screen protector right on the phone on the front side and the back side because the Doji Mix has Gorilla Glass 5 on both the back and front, another pair of screen protectors, a ring that attaches to the back of the phone if you want that there, some cables for charging along with some different variations of chargers. The UI the phone came with was Doji's custom version of the Android 7.0 operating system and their version was clearly not designed for the North American audience. I ended I ended up wiping off that launcher and replacing it with the Google Now launcher, which I think fits the phone nicely. The fingerprint scanner is incredibly quick, meaning getting into the phone takes less than a second. That display really does catch you off guard. The main selling point of this device is clearly that almost bezel-less display. When I first picked up the phone, one of the main things that caught me by surprise was just how large the phone is and how the display really jumps out to you, even though it's 720p. The camera is choppy at best. Now don't get me wrong, it's not horrible for photos, but for video, especially if you move around the phone, it gets very, very laggy. I think the Google Now launcher might be to blame for this, because the original launcher Doji bundled with this phone ran it fine. Battery life I haven't completely tested, but it's expected to last around 8-9 to nine hours on a full charge. Gaming on the Doji Mix was fairly smooth, and I rarely notice an issue when testing out the performance. Now again, this is my first impressions, I'll have to try out this phone more to give my final verdict. But as of right now, I'm happy with it. I'll make sure to release a review of this phone when I feel I've tested it out for long enough. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please share it on social media if you did enjoy it. It really does help my channel. Again, I hope you enjoyed and see you.